Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. Sweden, Galatasaray in Elsborg in the quaint and picturesque town of Boros, Sweden, nestled between serene lakes and lush forests. The local football team, Elfsborg, was about to embark on a momentous occasion. The stadium, a humble yet spirited venue, was filled with fans donning yellow and black, their colors symbolizing pride and resilience. The buzz of anticipation didn't stem solely from the allure of victory. It was a deeper yearning that echoed in the hearts of the community, the chance to test their mettle against a European giant, Galatasaray. Part 1. The call of the giants the news had broken like a summer storm. Elsborg would face Galatasaray in a pivotal match for qualification in the Europa League. This was more than just a football game. It was a symbol of hope, an opportunity to bring their small town onto the grand European stage, however temporarily. For many, it was the chance to compete against a club that had a storied history, boasting a legacy of victories that transcended national borders. The clash was not just about skill. It was an epic battle of David versus Goliath. Meet Lars, a lifelong Elfsborg fan, his heart entwined with the club since he was a child. His father brought him to his first game, and since then, every match had become a family tradition. Lars had watched his beloved team struggle in the shadows of other Scandinavian clubs, yet this match stood as the pinnacle of his dreams. A chance to witness his team play against some of the best players in Europe was exhilarating. Part 2. The Spirit of the Town As match day approached, the excitement in Boros grew palpable. Local businesses celebrated the event, adorning their windows with yellow and black flags. The bakery crafted special pastries in the shape of footballs, while the pub scheduled watch parties complete with live music. The entire town rallied, and a sense of unity filled the air, a reminder of how sports could unify even the most divided of communities. For the players of Elfsborg, the match was an opportunity to showcase their talents on an international platform. Coach Anna, a visionary leader and recent addition to the Elfsborg family, emphasized the importance of teamwork and belief. Her strategies inspired the players, encouraging them to transcend their self-doubt. The match against Galatasaray wasn't merely an event. It was a chance to write history, to put Elfsborg on the map and show the world what they were made of. Part 3. The night of the match on that fateful night under the dazzling floodlights, the stadium pulsed with energy. Fans filled the stands, the air thick with anticipation and chants. Lars stood among fellow supporters, their voices rising in harmony, creating an electrifying atmosphere that tangled with the cool Swedish air. With every kick, every pass, their hopes surged, a tide of emotions swaying between exhilaration and anxiety. As the whistle blew, the two teams clashed. Elsborg showcased their grit and determination, countering the fast-paced play of Galatasaray. Each goal attempt felt like a dance, perfectly synchronized moments of strategy and ambition. When Elsborg took the lead, the stadium erupted into a cacophony of cheers, a chorus of dreams finally taking flight. Part 4. Reflection and legacy regardless of the game's outcome. What transpired that night was more significant than any scoreline. Whether Elsborg emerged victorious or faced defeat, they had ignited a spark in the hearts of their town. The dream became a legacy, one that reminded everyone in Boros of the power of ambition, unity, and unwavering spirit. As Galatasaray moved on, Elfsborg was more than a stepping stone. They became a symbol of hope, inspiring younger generations to aspire for greatness and reminding older fans of the magic of football. In the days that followed, Lars promised himself that he would continue to support Elfsborg seeking out matches, chanting louder, and fostering the dreams of young players. In reflecting on their journey, the town of Buras discovered that the true victory lie not just in conquest, but in the relentless pursuit of dreams. The joy of coming together, the love of the game, and the myriad possibilities awaiting them on the horizon.